Welcome to the second edition of the Mole Flash. Today we're going to be taking a look at another of the exclusive Dark Energon figures. This day we're going to be checking out Dark Energon Knockout. Everyone's favorite metrosexual Martin Aston. Aston Martin? Yes, that sounds right. Anyhow, as you can see, instead of his usual maroon, his Dark Energon self is molded in this really gorgeous transparent green with transparent purple details. It also has gray and black molded areas as well as these light purple molded shoulders. He has generous paint applications in this lime green, this purple, and uh, well, a little bit of purple for his crotch piece. As you can see, He's a fairly small car. If you don't know what, if you don't know much about Knockout, that's about what he's supposed to be. He's somewhat smallish, but he unfolds quite a bit. As you can see, he's dwarfed by a can of Sierra Mist. Uh, right now, he is currently equipped with his typical weapon. His particular weapon is the one he used to, to buffalo Optimus Prime in his first appearance. A real cool little weapon. It uh, has these nice little drill details, and the other end looks like it'd be perfect for smacking someone around with. And for some reason, it's equipped with a hinge. Now, this hinge lets you bend and flex it to some degree, though I'm not sure why you'd want it to do that. Looks kind of derpy when you do that. But overall, it's a nice little accessory with some nice details. All right, and before we get into transformation, one more detail I'd like to get into. Have a close look at this image on the side. The new graphic they used to replace the uh, regular graphic that uh, Knockout had in his previous edition has been completely replaced with this kind of skewed, stretched Decepticon logo. Rolls pretty good. And in addition to being a stylish sports car, I think it has a fantastic paint job. I loved the character Knockout in the show, but the first edition toy of him was just atrocious. The graphics just simply did not look right. This, however, while not being show accurate in the least, is an absolutely fantastic color job. Now, let's go ahead and get to transforming. Alright. The first thing you want to do is pick him up. You know, it helps to move him. Alright. Then you want to pull the back section down and out. This will form his feet pretty quickly. Pop the legs apart like so. Take this panel piece here and rotate it 180 degrees back and do likewise on the other side. Alright, then take these little black triangles, fold them down and around to form the feet. Just like this. Down and out, then down and around. There. And the hidden secret mode, a lot and a lot of people know, it's even better than the girl walk you get in a lot of the jets, see? It's car walk mode. Yeah, that's enough of that derp walk. It's more like it. Alright, the next step is to take and fold out these side panels. Can be a little tricky. There we go. You gotta pry them loose from the middle up here because the two, the two halves of the top are connected. When you pull them out there like that, that gives you ample room to continue the transformation. Now that these panels are sitting about like so, what you want to do is fold out the hand. There. Then with that folded, what you want to do is lower the arm down like this, flip it shut like so, and then, you know what, it, there's not enough clearance right now, let me just start transforming him a little bit more. Let's see here. There we go. Man, this guy is definitely Brit British engineering. Uh, 
is so much more complicated than it needs to be. Alright, there we go. So once you've got the arms in a position where you can start pulling them out like so... Oh, he's giving me no end of trouble right now. This is quite out of the ordinary. I understand this can happen to men, but usually it happens to them when they're a lot older, this transformational dysfunction. Alright, come on out of there. There we go. For some reason, it wasn't wanting to turn and pull out like you see me doing here. You pull the whole wheel assembly out and directly back. Then get the arms up and out of the way. Make sure you got the arm pulled out. Fold it back in. Don't leave it open like this or you'll end up with weird ape arms. Fold it down, like so. Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? Ah! There's the problem. I had to unfold it this way first. Then this piece folds in and over. And repeat the process on the other side. There. Now he's got his shoulders. And arms. Let's go ahead and get this turned right. Next, we take the whole top and pull it down. And kind of reach through and poke out Knockout's head and pull it up. Next thing we do is we pull the torso down as far as we can. There is a little peg here on the inside which will pop in here. Here is the peg and here is its little home. Now getting it in there it can be easier said than done, but certainly not impossible. Ah, oh, yeah, forgot. That's the trick. You have to make sure you take the front bumper and fold it all the way up so that it will reach that. Then you bring it down, pull in the hip pads, and just rotate the arms into position. Last piece you need to do is pull these pieces up and pull them in snug with the top chest piece. Now the final step is cool poses. I've had a lot of final steps, haven't I? Oh well. Good for the skin, I guess. Had this arm backwards. Silly me. And there you have it. Dark Energon Breakdown in Robot Mode. The cool Dark Energon symbol was obscured somewhat by his chest, but... Hey, what can you do? Overall, he's a really fantastic looking figure in this mode. The color scheme is very striking and eye-catching. He has the same problem that the previous use of this mold does, namely this big empty back, which kind of feels like there's supposed to be something more to it there. It just kind of makes him seem a little hollow and kind of naked. But one of the upshots is these two extra pegs in the back. Can be used for storing arms microns if you like to import those, or his sinister little staff, allowing him to have it slung over his shoulders. He's got some pretty good uh he's got some pretty good articulation. He's got a ball jointed shoulder, bicep swivel, front arm swivel, ball jointed hands, ball jointed hips, ball jointed foot, twisting knee mid-calf rotation, so you can put him in some pretty intriguing poses if you feel like it. There we go. Come at me, bro! So yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. I love the colors. The transformation isn't perfect, but it's really nice to look at. Uh, Quite frankly, I think this is the best-looking version of Knockout we may ever get, even if it's not his show-accurate colors. Well, that wraps it up for today's edition of The Mold Flash. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.